guys and welcome back this is the second part of how to model an object which is a coffee mug and how to use a ribbon so select your object and go to modify tab once more and from the selection select a polygon and you should probably maximize this viewport now over here to make this object smoother I mean if we deselect our visible part like this you can see that this object is not smooth so to make it smoother you just have to select it and then go to modifier list and from the modifier list you have to choose turbo smooth which is over here now we applied a turbo smooth and if you deselect it once more you'll see that our object become a smooth object like this now let's add some assisting loops so select your object and go to editable poly and from edit select a swift loop from a ribbon and I'm going to show you the difference between after and before I add the assisting loops so if we just add one over here and one inside over here and select your turbo smooth you'll see that the top object is smoother but if we undo you'll see that it's not smooth it's just like sharp edge now go to editable poly I'm just going to add them again one over here sorry one over here and one over here and go down from the bottom bottom and add one over here and another one over here Now we have to create the hand of the mug. Now select your mug and right click on it and then click on free selection. And now we can't select it until we just right click on it and once more click on unfreeze all. Now we can select it. So right click on it and click on free selection. So you can select it and click on or just go to create tab. And from the create tab, create a sounder. Just like this. Now go to modify tab once more and make the radius 2 and the high about 20 and the high segments make them 10 and the cap segments make them 3 now go to modifier list and then apply the bend modifier to our sounder and make the angle about 180 and for the direction minus 90 now use your rotate tool and then first just uh, click on angle snap toggle and rotate it until it will be about 90 degree now select your move tool <coughs> and the first thing I have to do is just center the mug because well I move it a little bit here it's uh, centered once more and now select your sounder and center it too so freeze this selection and here we got our uh, sounder and now just drag it like this just up a little bit use a rotate tool and deselect or disable the angle snap toggle by clicking on it and just drag it like this well the hands shouldn't be big like this so just click on sounder once more make the radius 1.5 no this is very small sorry 1.5 yeah like this Now, all we have to do is just collapse the bend modifier. So click on collapse tool, or right click on it, like this, right click on the bend modifier and click on collapse tool. And click on yes. Now this is an editable mesh because we just collapsed the bend modifier to our sound there, so it automatically converts to editable mesh. And what you have to do is just convert it once more to editable poly like this 
Now right click on the cylinder and then click on hide unselected. And from the selection select a polygon and select those faces by clicking and dragging while are you holding. Now click on Alt and then once more deselect those faces or those polygons. So here we just selected those polygons. And the same thing over here. Hold Ctrl right now and then select all of those and then Alt and select deselect those polygons. Now scroll down until you'll find a soft selection. Click on soft selection and then check this box which, which is use the soft selection and then you'll see the fall off. You just have to reduce it till like this. So it makes about six, which is enough. And now use your scale tool and make it bigger. And you can also select them once more like this and scroll them down a little bit. Now once more uncheck the soft selection box. And click on edit book poly so you can deselect this the selections or the polygons over there. Now unhide all once more and you'll see that it needs a little bit smooth so you just have to select it and select it and choose a turbo smooth modifier from your modifier list and now we should apply the same color on the both of the objects so just go to unhide all or unfreeze all and select this mug and apply uh, let's say a gray a red color and apply the same color on the hand and as you see it look very nice for beginners of course now we have one last thing to do and it's to attach the mug hand to our mug so click your mug hand and delete the turbo smooth modifier by right clicking on it and then clicking on delete do the same thing for our mug And now from your geometry or from your ribbon, click on attach and now click on your mug hand and right click on anywhere. Now from your modifier list, find a turbo smooth modifier. Here we have a turbo smooth modifier and once you apply it on it, it will be smooth once more. Now we are done creating our coffee mug. Thank you for watching, subscribe for more tutorials, see you next time.